On the Weather Network tonight on No More, you are about to know a lot more about how we celebrate cold as Canadians. That's our Cobra Kai, Kyle Britton in Calgary, Alberta. A big fan of the Karate Kid, we know you were. Uh, Kyle, what, what exactly happened with the weather that gave you this amazing opportunity? Well, we had actually just finished a several day stretch of freezing fog, which resulted in the deposition of this beautiful rime ice all over the place. So I was driving around the city documenting that and near industrial parks where you have more moisture in the air, more impurities, that fog is thicker. And of course, the deposition is thicker. So if you find these neighborhoods kind of uh, downwind of these industrial parks, they can be just completely caked in this white ice. And so I'm driving down the road and seeing these chain link fences and like baseball diamonds just coated in this ice. And of course, the little boy inside me Chris I had to go and kick that fence just to see how easily the ice fell off and man it was it was just so satisfying so perfect so I set up the camera and of course I uh, just had to do some more fancy karate kicks and I uh, turned out pretty cool I sure did listen I, I first of all you have given us the greatest celebration of cold that any Canadian could possibly imagine um, tell me where, where do you come up with this and and let's have the story of the towel toboggan Okay, well, some of these ideas I've seen on the internet, YouTube, there's a lot of people that get really creative. You know, when it's really cold, people just kind of come together and I guess it's a coping mechanism. <laughs> Let's have some fun with this cold weather. Uh, some of these ideas were also original, though, like the, um, the drumming on the frozen clothes. Of course, that was a new idea this year through a trick of editing. I was able to kind of make a five-piece Kyle Britton percussion ensemble. And, of course, the frozen towel toboggan was uh, a lot of fun as well. You have to, you know, it took some time. You have to get the right amount of water in the towel because if there's too much water, it takes a long time to freeze, believe it or not. Uh, so, yeah, but that was quite interesting. To just make sure that if you're using any of these towels for these experiments, that it's not a towel that you have any particular fondness for because they can actually snap in the cold temperatures. So I want to go back to the, to the whole towel experiment because you would think that the towel um, with, with the nub on the fabric would give you some huge friction problems on the hill. Did it? Well, yes, so they, it, you had to have a steep enough hill, and unfortunately that video that I shot there, it was just after a fresh snowfall, so we hadn't had everyone out on the hill tamping it down, making it nice and slippery and icy, so it was a little bit of a challenge, but uh, I guess I've put on a little bit of weight through the COVID <laughs> pandemic, so that helped me down the hill. Um, and, and the airplane, that, was, that, was that an original or is that a YouTube one you found? I saw somebody do it last year here in Alberta, but they only threw it off of like the back deck of their house, so it didn't go very far. I was thinking, well, we got to see if this thing actually flies. So I threw it off of a cliff out in Kananaskis country, and I was thinking it would make a little bit more uh, distance across the gorge, but unfortunately it just plummeted straight into the ground. It did so smoothly, I guess you could say, though. With 30 seconds to go, uh, one of the most iconic things we do is throw hot water into cold air. How, how cold does the air need to be for this to work perfectly? at least minus 30 or minus 40 you want to go out there uh, early in the morning just out in a nice flat field put the sun behind you that nice orange or red morning light and set the camera to slow motion it'll look really nice if you get it just right okay we can't wait to see what you have for us next winter when it gets really cold our celebration of cold will continue on no more after this